Greetings. We have the press conference about to start between the President of Georgia, uh, Sam Zorabishvili, and the Deputy Secretary General of NATO, Rose Gilton Muller, for statement for press. So I bid welcome, I cannot stand but reiterate here how important today's visit is. Actually, this is not today's, but three days long visit of North Atlantic Council to Georgia. The fifth visit of North Atlantic Council. That is another token, another manifestation. And during the meetings, we have all acknowledged this is another recognition of enormous support of Georgia, of Georgian territorial integrity and sovereignty. And so each allied ambassador repeated this support in their interventions that in their speeches that might be extremely important for our country on my part I would like one more I presented one more time uh, about the situation on the occupied territories to what extent this status quo cannot continue as it is and it is necessary that we, by all means, we should overcome occupation. And in this, one more time, we uh, more strongly need our partners back up for, to the end, to be able to attain their occupation and reinstatement of the territorial integrity of the country. We also have deliberated on the perspectives that Georgia possesses, so Georgia-NATO collaboration that on annual basis should be deepened for next year. We have very serious plans that the substantial package not to be only re renovated, but it should be more stronger, deepened and it should provide concrete opportunities of collaboration between Georgia and NATO. So two directions have been on the uh, radar of our discussion. One is the Black Sea direction domain, so which becomes more and more important for our country, for our, the, her relationship not only with NATO but with EU. And this is the triangle that for us, for our development, for our stability, so presents quite substantial one. And we have plans to empower our collaboration in this regard. And in this collaboration, not only NATO's organization, but the countries that are the Black Sea littoral states, littoral states, they are having very active position and they repeated their uh, position to be actively involved in collaboration with us. So this direction, and the, the other, the one more direction, which is not less important in today's world, this is cyber security. And from this angle, we also are in need of assistance. That was my call, uh, bilateral assi uh, assistance, and we have already roll that out with several countries, but we need also on the side of NATO furtherance that our country to grapple with the challenge which is called today cybersecurity, and that is for every country, for every partner, is also a huge challenge. At the same time, our democratic reforms we have conversation on economic reforms and democratic aspects. So I paid attention to the fact that today we received from Millennium Challenge Corporation the acknowledgement that Georgia that has consummated the second compact is one of the best partners. Uh, also, our democratic reforms of the last years has been recognized and estimated by our partners. On my side, I would like to circle back around to the point which I say almost in every speech that it is necessary for us to overcome polarization in our society and amongst political parties. 
as a minimum with respect to the issues which are called integration into EU and NATO and the occupation on free these issues. If we don't stand together, we cannot prevail. So, but I am assured that we will be in the position to get united on these issues. That's why I have told the NAC, North Atlantic Council, that I am staying assured that we will uh, be victorious, actually. So one more time, I would like to say that our uh, goal is sturdy. This is the membership of NATO and EU. Nobody has managed to uh, make us change this goal, and nobody can do so. So this is our and the population unwavering decision, and that's why we stand strong in this direction, because this is the path selected by all of us, selected by all of us, and has no alternative, and everybody should resign to the fact that Georgia will move on this track forward and quite efficiently. Thank you very much. Madam President, thank you for your warm welcome, both your warm welcome and also that of your government to this beautiful city of Batumi. We are very grateful for your hospitality and for hosting the North Atlantic Council, just as you said, for a very uh, intensive several days here in Batumi. Georgia is a unique partner for the Alliance. We are now celebrating five years of the substantial NATO-Georgia package, as Madam President said. In our discussion today, we took stock of how much we have achieved and how we will deepen our cooperation in the years to come. The substantial NATO-Georgia package has been a success story. It has strengthened your interoperability with NATO and made your armed forces more capable. But I also wanted to emphasize the degree to which all NATO allies recognize the professionalism of the Georgian Armed Forces and the contribution that you are making to our operations and missions. Allies have now decided to conduct uh, a refresh, as we call it, or strengthening of the package by 2020, updating and improving our cooperation. In the past five years, we have established a defense institution building school and the Joint Training and Evaluation Center. And earlier this year, for the first time, the center that called the JTEC organized and led a multinational crisis response exercise according to NATO procedures. This was a difficult task, but they did it from start to finish, and it was a success. We are now building on this experience and preparing for the next NATO Georgia exercise in 2022. We are also developing our dialogue to end cooperation on the Black Sea region. We welcome your offer to continue providing logistical support to NATO and to the Allies. And we are working with you to strengthen interoperability with your Coast Guard, including with the ongoing training of the Coast Guard boarding teams. And Madam President, it was such a pleasure to meet them this morning. Again, truly, truly professional uh, members of your Coast Guard whom we had a chance to meet with this morning. Madam President, Georgia is demonstrating that it is an exporter of security a net security provider. Your country remains the largest non-NATO troop contributor to our mission in Afghanistan. We welcome the reforms that you have put in place, strengthening your democratic institutions and the rule of law, and modernizing your armed forces. We will work with you as you continue on this path. We fully support Georgia's independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders. We call on Russia to reverse its recognition of the Georgian regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia. These territories are an inherent part of Georgia, and we will never recognize them as anything else. Madam President, again, it's a pleasure to be with you here in Batumi. Let me thank you again for your warm hospitality. At our summit in Brussels last year, NATO leaders reconfirmed the Bucharest decisions from 2008 and yesterday, that same reconfirmation was present in the statement that was released by the NATO-Georgia Commission. Georgia will become a member of NATO. That decision has not changed. And we are committed to continuing to work closely together to prepare your country for NATO membership. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam.